Piper. It's a text-to-speech tool. It's one of the fastest and easily configurable neural TTS tool that I've ever used. So let's see a easy sample of a voice generated from it in English. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is caused by reflection, refraction. That was a sample for Amy voice model. Uh, it's available on GitHub as an open source project with the MIT license. Let's download the build to test it out. We'll download the Linux x86 4 build. It's also available for macOS, Windows, and the ARM build can be used on Raspberry Pi. Now that we have the build for latest release, let's just move it to our current directory, extract it. Now we have it in Piper directory, so we'll just cd to it. Let's try out the Piper command, fnh for help. So it's working as of now. Now we need the voice models. So for test, we'll go to the English voice models, English US. Uh, there are several voice models. So we'll go for the last one for now, the Ryan model, as it has a low, high and medium. Let's first test out the medium model. So we'll download the ONNXX and ONNX JSON file so that they are available in our working directory. Let's move them from the downloads folder to the working directory. The one in xjson file as well. Since on download the name gets tweaked about, we'll move it back to the original name. Now we have it here. We'll just move these model files to a separate model directory and use the same link here for now. So when we download more models, we are easily managing them. This step is not very necessary. You can just have the original files in the working directory as well. So now that we have the links to our models in the working directory for Piper, let's test the simple text pipe to Piper. Half an apple model will provide it the model file name, the ONNX, and half an apple output file will present the path to a WAV file in which the speech would be recorded. So it happened very fast as it saw within a second because it was testing Piper because it was a very small text. Now we'll copy a poem from Robert Frost from Gutenberg. Let's tweak it a bit. We'll cat it and this should happen quickly as well and as you see it happened within like three seconds of sorts now let's play it a time to talk by robert frost when a friend tells me that wrote an old ever then he would cut us in the little random now that we see uh, after the starting there was a bit where the audio wasn't that clean and that's because we were using the medium model if you were using low model there might be even more issues so what we'll do is we'll get the high model and see if that beginning token get, the beginning text is more clear in audio then so we have already downloaded the high model we'll just generate it it might take some more time as you saw it took about 19 seconds instead of 3 seconds. A time to talk by Robert Frost. When a friend calls to me from the road and slows his horse to a meaning walk, I don't stand still and look around on all the hills I haven't hoed and shout from where I am. What is it? No, not as there is a time to talk. I thrust my hoe in the mellow ground, blade end up in five feet tall, and plod. I go up to the stone wall for a friendly visit. That was it.